Hey guys, just an update on my trucks and lettering. Um, I mentioned I would uh, show you. It's kind of a crappy day out here, but I'll see if I can get some some video on it. Um, yes, I made my Chevy emblems green. Um, not sure if I'm going to keep it or not. It was a little experiment. I figure people do a lot of weird things to, uh, to stand out in a crowd. I was figuring maybe after seeing that a few times and uh, driving down the road, people might recognize it um, as my, my company. Um, but here's the uh, 2006 truck that I picked up not too long ago. I got it lettered up. I'm pretty sure I haven't shown this in videos yet. Um, did the doors, tailgate, came out good. And of course this other door here, which, which mean trucks all set and also update on the trailer uh, what I did on the top you can see I put one of the max air vents um, covering up the broken air uh, what is it uh, op open and closing vent that's on the top I couldn't find the exact replacement and it looked like I had to drill this out and and whatnot so it ended up being a little bit too much so I, I figured if I put one of those units right up and just cover up the cracked unit um, that kind of sealed it from any water getting in there so I, I did that I think it was like $26 on uh, Amazon cheap and easy uh, no modification at the same time it works to pull the hot air out of the trailer when you're driving down the road so um, it has a function and I was able to do that and here's the lettering on the back of the trailer um, I haven't done anything on the sides obviously yet, but uh, this is kind of similar to what I'm going to be doing on the sides. <clears throat> Again, I do all my own lettering. Um, may not even get to the sides this year. Uh, the season started and I'm pretty much uh, straight out at this point. When the weather's, when the weather's good, I'm out working. Um, I also changed, you might notice the grill on this uh, dump truck. It had the black older style. Um, if I can, I'll, I'll insert a picture. Uh, look like, or you could look back on the previous videos. Uh, I got this newer style grill with the separate headlights, the composite headlights, which I know I kind of like the glass headlights because they don't yellow out, but um, I wanted to match this truck a little bit better just so it has more of a similar look. Um, and the single headlight with the black grill just wasn't cutting it. This kind of makes it look a little on the newer side. Still got to get the uh, wheel simulators to match on the front. Uh, just, just had them on the back. I'm not sure what happened to the front ones. But I need to get that. I've been looking. Can't find them yet. I might have to buy a whole new set and just garage a couple. But, um, yeah, so I set that grill up. Um, everything was pretty much a bolt-on uh, replacement. I think that looks much better. Like I said, it matches this one. And that's about it. I think um, I get the walker mowers in the trailer. Um, actually, let's take a walk in and see if we've got uh, see if we've got anything leaking. Also picked up a new chainsaw. I don't think I've put that in the video yet. I had to put a new a new wheelbarrow wheel on and fix that up. I did a little welding on that. This is the new Husky saw that I picked up. Um, saw, I don't do much tree work, but I saw reviews online saying that this was a um, good, you know, mid-level mid saw for the amount of work that I do. Um, I guess it's more of a home, homeowner's type. It's not the Pro Series or whatever, but like I said, all I used to use was this uh, Echo saw here previously for, the, for all the stuff that I did, and we had a lot of downed trees from this last storm, so... So I now have um, the still hedge clipper, the older style Craftsman hedge clipper, the attachment PA, uh, what is it, the uh, PAS2820 I believe it is, the saw here, handheld still blower, a couple of backpack uh, BFS or 570 BFSs, um, sprayers down there and then over here I've got uh, my Husky edger, Husky trimmer, and a backup uh, echo that you can't see from the barrel. I've got uh, attachments here. Um, my pole saw is up there. I've since added this ladder um, on this, just a good place to put it in front of the tools, just kind of strapped it in there. Um, I think I might have added this since the last video too. I got the rakes and the 
taller things up here and everything else just kind of hangs down on the bottom here kind of hard to see but yeah not too many changes I got the walker in here I'm um, staying out of the rain oh here's the uh, vent you can see the crack on the lid that goes on the top um, I just basically closed it since it's open anyways when it's closed because it's cracked and then you can see that max air vent that kind of seals it and uh, looking on the mower which is right under it I see no water it's been raining all night windy and rainy so that should take care of my uh, water leak and um, that's about it I got this shelf set up here paper towel holder oh the other thing I did I put the uh, trimmer string here I kind of uh, bolted a couple of clamps um, maybe I'll get a better picture of it when it's light out but uh, kind of a slick setup so it holds tension on the on the um, string when you go to pull it out to restring <clears throat> it's uh, basically like a two by piece of lumber that fits through the spool and then uh, a couple of uh, spring clamps that are screwed into the side of the wood um, and it holds it fixed and then I just drilled a hole in the wood to have the string pull out of um, can't get over there. Let me see if we can get a little closer look or not. But yeah, you can see the string kind of sticking out there. Um, <clears throat> so it works out really well for restringing heads and a uh, good place to keep it out of the way. So that's about it. That's the only changes. I've had a couple of days of work using the trailer, uh, kind of making adjustments as I go. And uh, at this point, everything's pretty good, except I can't seem to keep this paper towel from flying away. And, uh, but other than that, yeah, everything else is uh, looking good, ready for the season, excited. Um, like I said, I've been, been going out doing some work, doing a little tree work. I got a little firewood and whatnot in the back of my truck here that I got to put away. It's now soaked. And uh, inside the truck, not too much has changed. Uh, pretty much the same. Just keeping it clean, using it. Um, it's, it's been great. Got my little business card holder. In there i got them in both of the trucks always nice to have those on hand so all right that's about it for today oh i did uh, a little work around the yard um had some extra mulch on a job so i went and uh edged and mulched the front here with uh, hydrangeas that are out of season right now but uh there's a little bit but i don't know three quarters of a yard that i had left so i went ahead and uh took care of the yard because typically we're the last ones to get done so uh, I figured well let's be a little different this year so all right that's about it for this video guys talk to you later thanks